Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. I'm Brian. I'm Aiden. Before we get started today, I just want to thank all my subscribers. Um, we're doing pretty good right now. We're getting up to about the 500 range. We've been doing this about, about a year now. Mm -hmm. So it's not too bad. Um, please subscribe, like I said before. Please hit that bell. This way we have any more videos coming out. You guys see what we're up to. We're always working on something mini bike related, uh, dirt bikes, uh, small engines, anything else. Uh, pretty much mechanical, even a Jeep. Uh, one of my other episodes, if you guys want to go back to my other episodes, we're working on the Jeep. Uh, Jeep Cherokee, that is. So anyhow, um, let's get started. Uh, we, were, we went to an estate sale, or I went to an estate sale about a couple weeks ago and picked up this old pressure washer, this old Honda pressure washer. Um, it's been sitting in the shed forever. So what we're going to do is going to get that revived, see if we can get it cleaned up, see if we can get it started. And we're going to move on for there, so uh, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show. Like I said, I picked up this old pressure washer. Well, I'm not sure how old it is, but anyhow. Um, like I said, I got in the state sale a couple weeks ago. I picked it up like dirt cheap. It doesn't run. Um, as you can tell, it's in pretty bad shape. It was sitting in some, some guy's shed for like forever, apparently. And the way it looks, the shed was kind of falling down on top of it. And it's not in good shape. I mean, everything is pretty bad on this thing. Uh, I didn't check it for spark. I did check the fuel. It looks pretty bad. Let's look here. Uh, you guys probably can't see in there, but it's not good. So, it looks like it's been leaking some kind of oil, too. There's oil all over it. I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's take the cap out and look. Oh yeah, it has oil in it. It doesn't look too bad, really. Looks kind of good. Let's get that cap back on there. So this is, you guys can see, it's a Honda, nine horsepower to GX270. Very good engine. Very expensive back in the day, probably when they bought this. Uh, has all the hoses with it. We'll take the hoses off. We don't really need them right now. Has all the nozzles with it. Pump. Pump has oil in it. That's is a good sign. So, before we start working on this, we are going to pressure wash our pressure washer. Sounds kind of weird, but I figure we'll clean it up this way when we're working on it. We're not getting all messed up and dirty. So, let's get to cleaning and see if we can get this thing up and running and working today. We just power washed it. We got it all fresh and cleaned up. It looks a lot better than what it was. I think the cleaning supplies did good. And let's get on to fixing it up. Yep, like Aiden said, we got it all cleaned up. Um, we pressure washed our pressure washer, which is, sounds kind of weird, but it is what it is. So we'll do a quick look around. And you guys see what it was before. It had oil, it was greasy, it was pretty bad. So we got it all cleaned up. You know, everybody knows these Honda engines, they last forever. So, gas is really bad though. 
We're gonna take the gas out. We're gonna take the carb off, clean the bowl. We're gonna see if we can get this thing fired up today because I need a stronger pressure washer to do what I need to do. So, next step, we're gonna get up on the bench, see if we have some spark, take the gas tank off, take the carb off, get this thing cleaned up. We're gonna get it running today. Uh, I know I can, shouldn't be a big issue. We always can. Yep, we always can. At Here's Open Garage, we can bring anything back to life. Stick around guys, this should be pretty interesting. We're gonna see how it turns out. All right guys, first things first, we're gonna take the plug out. We're gonna see how good or bad it might be. And we're gonna see if we have spark. Plug out. Have it up on my bench. Okay. Wow. You can see, the plug looks pretty darn good. This thing must have been used very little and just kind of like set aside. And I don't know. Even want to pull on it a little bit, pull on the cord and see if we got some spark. Do it again. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Yep, a good spark. Good sign. Like I said, the plug looks good. Good spark. Actually, we'll let that out for right now. Uh, next thing we're going to do is probably get the carb off of it. Get the air cleaner off. See how bad the carb is. Get the bowl off, get it cleaned up. Other than that, looks pretty good. Spark is good. We'll keep moving forward. All right, so Aiden's gonna take the top of the air cleaner off and see how bad that is. Oh yeah, that does not look good at all. So, um, we're gonna. Continue to take the air cleaner off. There he has it. Bring it up right there. Oh. Screw that. You guys can see that the foam that was around here is busted. It's not foam. Not foam anymore. It's more like one of those things you get at like the grocery store for like to put sticks and stuff in. Yep. Okay, take that off, and it's probably 10 millimeter, I'm going to start taking the air cleaner part off of it. I mean, other than that, the engine looks pretty good, I mean, got good spark. It must have been just barely used and just kind of like set aside. I don't know if the guy used it much or not. But no idea. But we're going to get into this thing. We're going to get it running today. Get this breather tube off. Oh, we got one more up here yet. The 10 millimeter? Yep. I 
I think next thing we're going to do is probably get the fuel line off of it and pull the carb if we can. Get the bowl cleaned out. Get the gas tank off. We're going to get that bled. I mean, the gas, I mean, the gas in this thing is freaking horrible. You guys can't really see, but. Next step, get this taken off. Get the gas tank off. And get it cleaned up. And see what we can see what we got from there. Alright, well next thing we're gonna do is get this fuel line off. We got a little clip behind here. Try to get this clip moved out of the way. old actually I might need some new fuel on this clip is almost impossible to get to it's pretty rusted too There we go. Let's get this fuel line off. Maybe. And it just broke. Oh well. We're going to need some fuel line. Yep, it's just tearing. So we'll get this moved out of the way. Get this up over here. Next thing, get this carb off. See how bad the bowl is. Get these uh, get the throttle linkage off. And uh, we'll tear in this bowl next. Alright, so, got the spring off for the throttle linkage. We're going to open this up, get the throttle linkage rod off of it. Got that off. Pull that aside. Get this carburetor off. And we'll open the bowl up and see how bad that is. It's not looking too bad, but it's not looking too good either. Definitely, if you guys can see in there, it's pretty gunked up. I'm assuming it's been sitting for a while. There's my fuel line that broke off. We'll cut that off, get some new fuel line on. But we're going to bust this bowl open, and we're going to see how bad it is inside. All right, so, got the carb off. Let's break into this bowl and see what we can see. Looking good. Get that cleaned up. Well, the good thing is, they turned the fuel off and they were done using it. Get the fuel shut off. We'll get that opened up. Let's see how that is in there. It's not too bad. And get a screwdriver. And pull the emulsion tube out. See how bad that is. You got a flathead around there somewhere. I'm not sure if it'll fit in there though. Nope. 
I'm gonna get a small. Oh, maybe. Yep, I'm gonna need a smaller screwdriver. Yep. Wait, hold on. I might have got it. Nope, I'm gonna need a smaller screwdriver. We'll get the emulsion tube out. We'll clean that up. I mean, everything else doesn't look too bad. Let's get this fuel line cut off of it. looking too bad. Alright, let me see if I can get a smaller screwdriver and we'll get this emulsion tube pulled out and see how bad that is. Oh, it took a little bit. Get the right screwdriver. So, I got it loosened. Definitely want to get this out. These can get gummed up pretty bad. That's well, not the emulsion tube. It's a jet, actually. Looks pretty clean. Yep. I could see through that. Usually the jet has a little tiny hole in it. Looks pretty good, actually. Does not look too bad. I mean, other than all that little bit of dirt in there, it's not looking too bad, really. Let me get this back in. And other than that, just a little bit of varnish in there. I think we'll be in good shape. We'll get this bowl back on. The bowl's not looking too bad. We'll get the bowl back on. We'll get the fuel finger jigger. I'm not sure what it is. Get that back on. Get it all buttoned up. We'll get it back on. Um, we'll get this all back on. I think our next step is to get the fuel tank off and definitely get that cleaned out. It's in pretty bad shape. Get this all back together, get it all back on. Uh, fuel tank will be next. Okay, Aiden's gonna put the carburetor back on. Well, we got it all put back together, so let's put it back on. Get it back on. Get the throttle linkage back on. I'll try to, anyhow. But get back on. Oh, there it goes. Get that back on. I'm not sure where the spring goes. I think the spring goes along with the throttle linkage. Oh, the spring goes right there, actually. Okay, spring's on. Throttle linkage is back on. Um, this plate goes on here somehow, somewhere, some way. Nope, doesn't go that way. Okay, back on. I gotta find some fuel line now. I'm not sure if I have any fuel line, but we'll find some way to get the fuel line on. Next step get this fuel tank off, get it cleaned out real good. Find some fuel line if I have it, get it put back on, get the spark plug back in, uh, hook it up to some water, because you don't want to run these with no water on them. It's not good. If you don't have water on, no point in starting it up. So, let's get this fuel tank off and get it cleaned out. Alright guys, we're going to get this fuel tank off. There's like four bolts on it. Oh. 
I'm doing pretty good. Get this one off for now. Actually, let's start over. Let's get the right tools we need. Okay, guys, we broke out the big guns for this one. I'm gonna continue this bolt here. Eden has the impact. We're gonna go the other way. Make sure it's going the right way. Okay, get that one out. Good job. This one here is in a tight spot, so we gotta use a wrench for this one. There's two more on the other side. You wanna get that out? Yep. You might need the extension. Can you get I got that? It. You got it? front yet. Can you can you get that one? Wait, where's the extension at? Hold on. Just have the extension here. Get that one there. Maybe I should get this one since I'm over here. keeping this tank off then we'll show you how bad it is inside. Okay guys we got all the bolts out. Ian's gonna try to pull this tank off. He's gotta kind of pull straight up on it. There we go. Get it on the throttle. So next step here is we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna dump it out and we're gonna clean this tank up and get some fresh fuel in it, put it back on. But let's go outside and see how bad this really is. Alright guys we're outside got our bucket here. Ian's going to dump all the gas out best we can. It's not too awful bad, but it ain't good either. See if I can get some new fuel line on there. Actually, something banging around on the inside in there. You know what? You guys know how these have the, uh, they got that little fuel cap that goes in a little plastic piece that goes in there. It's floating around on the inside there somewhere. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, what to pull that out. But all in all, you know what? The tank does not look that bad inside. I mean, when I was looking at it earlier, it looked pretty bad, but it's not really that bad. We're gonna keep pulling it, keep pouring it out. Does it look that bad? There's that plastic pieces in there. Let's try to get that plastic piece back out where it belongs. You guys can see how brown that freaking gas is. There's multiple pieces. Is there multiple pieces in there? I think so. Alright, well, we'll keep working on this, get it cleaned up. We'll get it back on. So you're gonna find some fuel line for it. And uh, see if we can get the thing fired up. Hope we can use it yet today because I don't want to wash my truck with it. Alright, so while Aiden's cleaning that out, I'm going to get this throttle linkage cleaned up. I mean, it's pretty bad. It's pretty stiff. 
So, I'll get some of my PB blaster. Let's see if we can get this thing freed up a little bit so it moves a little bit better. It's not good. It's not bad either. So guys, I managed to... Oh, uh, hold on. Aiden's back. Managed to slightly pull it out, but it just won't come out. You gotta pull it out because you gotta take it and you gotta flip it around. And that stands, that's kind of like sticks in the top part there. So the way you pull... Oh, uh, so it's the wrong way? Yeah, you gotta, pull, you gotta pull it out all the way completely, flip it around. So, uh, I'll help you get that out. Be careful, don't wanna break it. So anyhow, got some PB blaster on there. Try to get this linkage cleaned up. And get this gas tank back on. Well, first I gotta find some fuel line, which I'm not sure if I have or not. But, yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, so we got this plastic piece, like flipped around the way it's supposed to be, but it's pretty shy. It just won't line up it, it with the the grooves and stuff so the gas yeah. cap can't go on. Yeah, it must have been sitting in the gas for a while. So what we're gonna do just gonna keep it out. We're just gonna take it out. Rip that thing out. If you can. Yeah, we're gonna leave it out. Well, you know, it's, it's it supposed to go in there and it sits in there and you when you pull it or pour your gas in it filters it but it's like trash. So. I'm going to show you guys how bad the, um, the gas tank actually is. It's not really that bad, though. I know, but, oh, there's a bolt in there. There's a bolt in there? Yeah, look, whatever that is. Or that's like the... Oh, no, that's the... It actually looks pretty clean. Yeah, put the flashlight in there. Yeah, it's not that bad, really. So, we're going to put it back on. Uh, okay, so got to find some fuel line first. So, oh, yeah. we'll put it back on. Um, let's try to get this thing fired up here in a little bit. But that's our next step. Get the tank back on. Yeah, this is dry rotted. Yep, yeah, it's dry rotted. Do you want to take the whole thing off? Yeah, we'll take the whole fuel line off and see if I have some. Alright, so I need the pliers. Let me see that. Looks pretty bad. It is pretty bad. Alright, let's see if I can find some fuel line. Get that back on. Alright, guys, I found some old fuel line. It's not the right thing, but we want to get this running today. So, we're going to get this snake through. Oh, it goes around this. Get the fuel tank back on. So, nope, never mind. There's two nuts that go on here. There's one. Get the other one. Is there a wrench? There's a wrench right down there. Like I said, this is not the right fuel line, but it's all I had laying around. Should work just for testing purposes only. Smaller, but it should work. Sorry. Anyhow, we're going to get these bolts back on. Uh, get the air cleaner back on, get some water on it, put some fresh fuel in it, and um, hopefully we'll be firing up here in the next couple of minutes. I'm hoping. If I can get this bolt on. Okay. Anyhow, we'll get the fuel tank back on, air cleaner, fresh fuel, fire it up. Hopefully it runs, right? Yeah, hopefully. We can make anything run. Absolutely. Alright, we're going to put the air box back on. Aiden's going to do that.
Then this goes right here. Yep. Yes. You guys seen this before? The freaking the foam, the foam part on the outside was pretty bad. So we just took it off. Should be fine. Does it matter which one you're on? I think we have a chance. We might have a chance. That? Oh. Alright, so now all we have to do is put the spark plug back in. Well, I'll take this out first. Oh, okay. Take this out. Plug back in. Still learning, guys. Not a big deal. This is why I'm teaching. This goes back in your engine. Down in there. Am I in it? I'm in it. Well, anyhow, guys, we'll get the plug back in. Get some gas in it and see if this thing runs. All right, guys, we're all ready to go. Get some gas in it. Eden's going to do the rest. Okay. So, got the water on. Um, got the lines bled. Got the, got the sprayer end going. Should be good to go. What I do now is turn the fuel on. I'm not sure what the choke is. We'll figure that out. Switch is already on. So I'd give it a pull. Well, they can feel, but that should be okay. Go ahead. That well, they can feel somewhere. I'm not sure where it's coming from. might be stuck. Go ahead and try it again.
So guys, unfortunately, we got it to run, but the pump is shot. There is no pressure. All we could get out was like a little stream. So we're gonna use the engine for scrap maybe on a future project. And hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more projects. Yep, like Aiden said, something's wrong with the pump. Uh, whoever had it probably didn't winterize it. And it's not working at all. Not building no pressure. But anyhow, we got the engine running. That's what we wanted to do. Yep. So anyhow, well, well, we'll work on it in the future. But hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm Aiden. And I'm Brian. And, and what? I was gonna say, like, say something in the comments below if you want us to like do something with this engine and what we should do with it. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and we'll have some more videos coming up here soon. And uh, you're watching Here's Hope in Garage. Thanks for sticking around.